Hi. Now, in this example, for part A, we've got to show that the cosine or cos 2 theta plus sine theta equals 1 may be written in the form k sine squared theta minus sine theta equals 0. And we've got to state the value of k. And in part B, we've got to then go on and solve for theta being greater than or equal to 0 degrees but less than 360 degrees, the equation cos 2 theta plus sine theta equals 1. So if you'd like to have a go at this, give you a moment just to pause the video. OK, well, for part A, let's just mark it in there, we've got the cosine of 2 theta plus sine theta equals 1. And what we've got to do then is turn it into an equation involving just sine theta. And we've got to therefore modify this term here. Now, the cosine of 2 theta is exactly the same as 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. You should be familiar with this particular identity. Often see it as cos 2a equals 1 minus 2 sine squared a. So then we've got the next term here, plus sine theta, and that equals 1. And if we subtract 1 from both sides, then the 1s will give us 0. And then if I add 2 sine squared theta to both sides and subtract sine theta from both sides, I end up with 2 sine squared theta minus sine theta equals 0. And that is what we had to show. Something of this form. And we've got that. You can see that the k has to be the 2. So we can say that, therefore, k equals 2. Now, in part b, we've got to go on to solve this equation. Well, if we were given a trigonometric equation to solve, what we would normally want to do is try and get it in the same trig function. And that was really the purpose of the first part. We've seen that we've got it in the same trig function, sine theta. It's this equation where k is 2. So we can say that, therefore, 2 sine squared theta minus sine theta must equal 0. And what you'd want to do next in an equation like this is to factorise it. If we factorise it, it's got a common factor of sine theta. So we pull that out the front of a bracket, and inside here we'd have 2 sine theta, and then minus 1. And that equals 0. So that would lead to each factor being equal to 0. Sine theta would equal 0, or we'd have the other factor 2 sine theta minus 1 that would equal 0. And what this would lead to is, well, we'll keep the same one here, sine theta equals 0. But for this one, if we add 1 to both sides and then divide by 2, we'd get sine theta equals a half. Don't make the mistake, by the way, at this point here of dividing through by sine theta leaving you with just 2 sine theta minus 1 equals 0. Because what happens is, yeah, you'll get this solution, but you'll drop this solution here. And that's a very common mistake. So just factorise it, OK? And you'll get your two possible solutions. Right, now we need to solve each one individually. So if we just come up here, then uh, let's start with the first one when sine theta equals 0. So when sine theta equals 0, for something like this, when I get sine theta equals 0 or 1, same with cos theta equaling 0 or 1, I tend to draw a sketch graph. Okay, You've got another method called the quadrant method, but uh, it's up to you which one you use, but I actually prefer drawing a graph for this type of question. And we'll have this as the y-axis. And the graph I'm going to draw here is a sketch graph of y equals sine theta. And we should know that it looks something like this. Starts at 0, rises up to 1 at 90 degrees, drops back to 0 at 180 degrees, 
minus 1 at 270 and back to 0 at 360 degrees. It's only a sketch graph, it's not accurate here. That's naught, that's 180 degrees, and that's 360 degrees. So it rises to 1 and drops down to negative 1 there. So where is sine theta equal to 0? Well, at naught, 180 and 360 degrees. But we've got to be careful here because it's saying that theta's got to be greater than or equal to 0 but less than 360 degrees. So if that's our range, then theta must equal 0 degrees and just the 180 degrees. Not allowed to equal 360, all right? Now, for the next one, sine theta equaling a half. Let's just put when sine theta then equals a half. We could solve this by a graph, okay, the graphical method here. But an alternative way, which I prefer for something like this, is the quadrant method. We would therefore inverse sine both sines, giving us theta equals the inverse sine of a half. And by the quadrant method, you can see tutorials on this on my website, examsolutions.net. But we'll draw our quadrant diagram with this being 0 degrees. We're doing the sine of an angle equaling a positive value in this example. And sine is positive in the first quadrant and the second quadrant. So we draw two lines equally inclined to this horizontal line here. And mark those two angles in as being the same. And a possible solution for theta is starting from here, turning to the first blue line. That's that one there. And a second solution between 0 and 360, starting from 0 again, turning anti-clockwise till we get to the blue line, is this one here. That too is a possible solution for theta in the range 0 to 360 degrees. Now when you inverse sine a half, make sure you're in degrees mode on your calculator. But what you'll find you get is that theta equals 30 degrees. And that corresponds to the red theta here, this blue angle that I marked in here. That's going to be 30 degrees. And because this angle is exactly the same size as this one, this little blue one in here will be 30 degrees. So that means the green one here will be 180 degrees minus the 30. In other words, 150 degrees. And you could get these solutions from a graphical method. It's up to you. If you were to go up this y-axis up to a half, draw a dotted line across here and back down here, this will be your 30 degrees here. I'm not going to mark it on. But uh, that would be 30 degrees there. And then if you were to carry that line across here and project it down here, you could see that by symmetry, it would be 180 degrees minus 30 degrees, which gives us the 150 degrees. So finally then, if we put all our solutions together, theta equals 0 degrees, then we'll have 30 degrees, then 150 degrees, and finally, the 180 degrees. All right.